Hi guys, this is Derek from Pacific Coast Auto, and today we're taking a look at our auction purchase of a Mitsubishi Delica P35, otherwise known as the L300 Star Wagon Delica. This is a turbo diesel 4x4 minivan full of awesomeness. Now this one is the Chamonix version. You can see the uh, decals on the side here. It says Chamonix in reference to the, I think it's a French ski resort. And so the Chamonix version, this is the first one that I've seen in the L300. And to be honest, I didn't even know that this version of the Delica had the Chamonix in it. We've bought tons and tons of the L400 Chamonix. And what that is, or the Chamonix version, is it's one made for colder climates. And so it has hard-wearing interior, uh, different floor mats. Um, I'll show you a little bit a little bit later. It comes with a dual battery system, and so easier to start in a cold climate. You can see here two batteries in there. It's two batteries, but uh, they're 12 volt, not a 24 volt, like a lot of Japanese 4x4s are. Engine runs really, really nice. This one has 100 and just under 175,000 kilometers on it, but it is leaking oil from the valve cover gasket. You can see there. And the radiator looks like there's some crusties between the fins on the inside when you peek in there, so it probably needs a flush. Oil looks like it's in really good shape, and the radiator fluid itself looks, or coolant, looks to be not that bad. I'm going to show you the interior in more detail later, but first off, we're going to go over the auctions inspection sheet for it. Before we get into that, I just wanted to mention that this one here probably would be rated as a lower grade one. And so this is perfect for somebody who doesn't want to spend an awful lot. And to give you an idea, compared to a very nice condition one, it's a few thousand dollars of difference. And so for some people, that makes an awful lot of sense. And so what do we have here? 1991 Mitsubishi Delica. They didn't call it the Chamonix version, but it is because of all the Chamonix stuff, like the seats. Oh, can't see that. Let's try this. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, the camera says no to that level of focus. Okay. Anyway, going back to it, this is an auction grade 3 with an interior grade C, 176, 815 kilometers on it. This is an automatic. They also come in manuals. It has a DVD in it. I don't, don't even know if I could get that to work. Diesel, 2.5 liter with turbo. It says that it's a black two-tone. Is that black? I don't know. Yes. And then it's black and gold, so kind of a cool combination. Just a little mention, it's missing the sticker in the door there. Notice how the decals are supposed to go all the way across, but it doesn't here. I think, this one's for Andrew's customer, and I think that Andrew mentioned that before bidding. And that door does have marks on it for where the sticker used to be. I can show you a little bit later. Okay, so steering wheel wear, underside surface rust and corrosion. Wheels have corrosion on them and oil leak. Various scratches and dents. The underside corrosion is really not that bad. Usually we recommend against people bidding on cars with that mark. In this case, I think that he took the risk and ended up getting pretty lucky. There's not that much corrosion and I'll show you where it is when we get to it. Looking at the auction sheet here, we do have S2, which is rust. S2, C1. Big paint peeling and scratches on the roof and repainted panel here. Medium scratch, medium dent, medium dent, and medium scratches. All of that, uh, the key to that is on our website if you ever want to know about that. Okay, so let's take a look once around and then I'll show you some of the damages. Okay, this may be one of the very few Chamonix versions of the car that's in the USA. Like I said, I mean, we've been in business now for just about nine years, and this is our first Chamonix that we bought. I think I've probably bought about 20 of the L400 Chamonix. Okay, the black and gold looks nice. The decals look really cool. You could get a copy of that decal put onto the side if you really wanted to. It's actually not that hard to get a graphic design company to make you up one like that. Okay, so you have the typical chrome bumper guard. It says Chamonix here instead of Delica, or Mitsubishi it says usually. 
The fog lights here have the different style of grills on them, and they're yellow. License plate is offset on this, kind of like a Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Kind of cool. And then the underside has this cool aluminum intake scuff guard piece that looks very nice. Especially would look nice if more people could see it, i.e. if you raise this up with larger tires, which is something that a lot of people actually do to these uh, L300s. This one comes with the large style mirrors, with the front mirror there. Also has the back mirror for backing up. And there's a little bit of corrosion on the handles of these. Uh, I'll just show you, like right in here, that sort of thing. Okay, the damages. Auction sheet said there is S2 on the front bumper. It's really not as bad as I thought that it was. There is no rust here, which is kind of a common place for these to rust. Right under the windshield, they'll get bubbles here. I think they may be referring to this, which is a stain on the pan um, from water that came and dripped off of it. It does need to be repainted. You can't get that off without doing so. Peeling on the chrome there. Cool projector headlights. And the other rust that I found is in the joints here for the bull bar. These are a common thing to rust. This one's better than most of the ones that I've seen. Okay, so we have a pretty big dent here on the top and a little bit of surface rust in there. And then the whole roof is pretty peely. Let me get up there. Ooh. And you can see some dents in the back. But the nice thing about that is you have to be the size of the Hulk in order to see the roof of these or able to jump really, really high. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the other things. There are a lot of branch scratches in it. These show up a lot on the car, but can be get, gotten rid of pretty easily with a good buff. The whole car is super, super, super dirty. And so just cleaning, buffing, polishing would make a big difference on this, I think. Okay, it did say there's U2. I didn't really find any U2 on here. I'll show you this side here. There are some small dents in this lower section. The U2 on this side is kind of like an opposite dent. It's like a dent somebody tried to pull out. It is uh, quite visible because of the way that it is. And then we've got another small sharp dent there. Okay, winter tires. Locking hubs on the front. So you can run these in two wheel drive, four wheel drive, or a low range four wheel drive so that you can go mountain climbing. Okay, first off, let's take a look in the back. Ah, uh, this is annoying. It doesn't open up the back for you unless you press the open up the back button. And then it shows you a warning light on the dashboard that says your back is unlocked. Okay, so here's the back. This one here is an eight seater. Also come in seven seats. These are very cool carpet. It's actually not that dirty in the back here compared to the rest of the car. And that's the thing about these Delicas is a lot of them are super, super dirty inside. I don't know why that is. I guess the type of buyer who likes these Delicas in Japan doesn't like cleaning up after themselves. So if you find one that's super clean, usually people will pay a lot more money for that. And so it makes it difficult to guess how much these are going to sell for because you never really know how dirty they're going to be inside. The auction sheet may say it's dirty inside, but that can mean, like, just to give you an idea. I can't remember if this one said it's dirty inside. I think that it did. But just give you a quick look here. This Noah, which is also, uh, have the video for it. This one here said it's dirty inside and it's like spotlessly clean almost. It is locked. Okay, back to Mr. Delica. Let's take a look at the front seats. Ah, uh, dent and scratches here. And we have this kind of damage in a couple of other areas in the back. I don't know if you saw that already, but like here and here, and all of this was reported with pictures and other videos explaining it. And the pushed in back guard bar here. 
Looks like the Chamonix gets a double bar, whereas the regular Delica gets a single bar there. All right, inside, smells like dogs and cigarettes. This car has three different ashtrays and all three of them were full of cigarettes. Okay, we have a couple of cigarette burns here. And very, very dirty. The seats are super, super amazingly tough material. It looks like you could take like your choice of weapons against these seats and they wouldn't get damaged. The only thing that will damage them by the looks of it is a cigarette because we have a cigarette burn in the seat of the passenger there. The steering wheel is not so lucky, the sun can damage it. As you can see it's been sun damaged. It's turned like a different color. Okay, and there's water on the floor mats, both sides, and I don't know where that comes from because it doesn't look like the vehicle leaks anywhere. Gate unlock. Okay, hopping in here. The vehicle starts up without a problem. That nice dual battery is super helpful. Oh, just, I said it was just under 175, I'm sorry, 176, 816 kilometers on it. This one here shows you how high up in the mountains you are and how close to tipping over you are. It would be really cool if on here it shows you how far the vehicle can go before it will likely tip over, but it doesn't have that. It'll have to be trial and error for, for figuring that out. Which kind of sucks, because after you do it once, your van's not that nice anymore. Power windows there. Power windows only for the front. Super big windows on the sides, but they don't uh, slide down. Okay, sliding door is only on the left side. All right, so. Lots and lots and lots of leg room for the center section here. I don't know if we've done one of these eight seaters recently. So, uh, where's the handle for that? Down here, okay. And so it works like that. Person who sits here doesn't get to be Chamonix cool like these guys do. The fabric is almost so hard, it's gonna cut my hands. Good to have nice tough hands though. You can toughen up your hands by going like this. Even the curtains are heavy duty curtains compared to the regular ones. And underneath this mat, which drastically needs to be cleaned, it has the cool print there. Cigarette lighter back here, rear fan for heater and air conditioner. And so you have vents down there for the feet and vents up here for the head. And the headliner is super dirty. So really needs to be washed. It doesn't look like it's stained. It just looks like it's really dirty. These seats are cool because they can flip backwards. And so right now you have, this one is the back and this one is the seat. You can change those around. So this one becomes the back and then that one becomes the seat, but they don't have the headrests on this section here, though they do have the seat belts in case you want to drive in that style. How do we lower this again? There we go. Lower and up we go. Okay, it's super easy to get into the back, lots of space to get in. I mentioned in another video that there were seats that are available for the Delica that can flip against the wall. Um, I made a mistake actually, it's only the 400s that have those seats, somebody mentioned in the comments, so thank you for mentioning that. It's funny, the seats are quite clean, to be honest, and you get an empty coffee bottle there. And surprisingly, these ashtrays are much deeper than I thought that they were. You can fit a lot of cigarettes in them. Okay. That shows you how to do seat stuff. Oh, and the seat can also go completely flat, which is kind of a big deal because 
a lot of the seats that can recline, they don't go completely, completely flat. And so this one, when you put that down, and you can put it down more than this, this one and this one will be completely level to make a sleeping area. That's part of the uh, allure of the car, I guess. And this one also does that too. And then the head section lines up completely with this one. And then this one can go completely flat as well. So you get a full size, actually pretty large bed in one of these. Okay, 15 minutes. Holy moly, I talked about this one for too long. So for anyone who made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. I hope I didn't bore you to death. And that's gonna be the end of the video. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section. Check out our website, all that other stuff. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.